Man, what a day! First I find out my goldfish is Parkinson's disease, and then an hour later I forget to use the incognito browser while I'm browsing vintage hentai. God, I hate having to clear my history and cookies because then I have to re-enter all my saved passwords. What a pain in the dick! Boy, I could really use something to cheer me up. Let me think. I've got... I've got it. I've got it. I'm gonna buy something outrageously expensive using only Penny. <laughs> <laughs> that should cheer me up. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Welcome back to another video. My name is Leon Lush, and I am blessed to have you here with me. Your boy right now is a little NyQuilled up. Your boy's a little wind up. I got some <coughs> form of rare AIDS, I think, that attacks only your lungs. <coughs> I've got, oh boy, it's the Dickens. I don't know. It's It may be just be, it might be bronchitis. I haven't confirmed that it's AIDS from a doctor yet, but I just kind of spitballing here, so bear with me. Listen, I should be sound asleep right now trying to fight off this unwelcome virus. But I'm up at 3 a.m. recording this video because your boy Leon Lush is one pious motherfucker. I'm out here doing the Lord's work. Uh, just a little disclaimer, if you're unfamiliar with my content, I won't actually be buying a Gucci car in this video. And if learning that fact causes you to abandon my watch time and not finish this video to the very end and then subscribe to my channel, well, I, I will hunt you and I will find you and I will punch you in the dick and or the pussy. Oh boy, you Anyways, now that we got that subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. nonsense out of the way, let's get into the topic of this video, which is... You hear that? You, you, let me, let me get you a little closer here. Yeah, that's, it's just an old glad container full of pennies, right? To you and to me, that's probably pretty useless. I mean, I personally fucking despise pennies. I hate them. When I get them as change at a transaction at a Walmart or a CVS or a Sunoco or an adult film shop, I throw those motherfuckers on the ground. When I find them on the ground, I throw them in the trash. I can't stand the sight of them. They're useless. They're copper pieces of shit. But I got a little news flash for you. These bad Larrys are the new ticket to internet fame, so either get with it or get left in the dust, pussy. <laughs> Rabbit, hope it goes having an amazing day. But anyways, guys, today I'm actually going to be going to the Gucci store, and uh, I'm not just gonna be going to the Gucci store without nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be going to the Gucci store, and I'm going to attempt to buy something from Gucci with a hundred thousand pennies, guys. Listen, I'm no prophet of Zion, but I know a good idea when I hear one, and this right here is a game changer. <laughs> take a process it's probably gonna take a couple of hours but you know it's right though because it's the grind baby let's go baby that's the grind baby what do you know about the grind maybe you're up late at night fucking hustling trying to make that money on the side building clients making a business selling a product no man you're missing out all you gotta do is unwrap one thousand dollars worth of pennies and try and buy some gucci flip-flops five million fucking views <laughs> So I guess the Gucci store didn't like what we did over there. You know, they actually did want to accept these hundred thousand pennies. Huh. I didn't see that one coming. So to give you the abridged version of this 18 and a half minute video, uh, they take the hundred thousand pennies, go to the Gucci store, try to purchase an $800 pair of shoes with the pennies, and to my surprise, did not go well. <laughs> that is the Gucci store was not pumped about it. And I'm not counting that. So no, all of the mall security got involved, it became this humongous shit show, and we're left with some fantastic YouTube entertainment. Now, unless you've been living under a sock these past couple weeks, you've probably noticed an influx in videos on YouTube of people buying expensive things with only pennies. Now, I'm not going to pretend like I know who starred this trend, but I think part of the reason it's become so popular recently is in part due to the fact that Mr. Beast, our dear friend, Mr. Beast, who I personally love, uploaded a video four weeks ago called I Bought a Car Using Only Pennies. Went viral, four weeks later, 10 million views. They're actually the best dealership ever. I got loonies for you. <laughs> All right, we're uh, here to buy that Jeep out front with uh, this stuff. Thanks for your business. No problem, we're gonna sign the paperwork real quick and uh, we'll see you in a minute. So naturally a week later, Jake Paul does the exact same thing. There's a trend on YouTube, guys. Oh, I saw this. Buying yeah. stuff with pennies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we gotta figure out what to buy. Look at all these pennies! Really Look cool. at all the pennies! 
annoying because obviously it's lit every single day, bro. What else are you gonna do? <laughs> Fuck! I hate saying that. I'm so sorry. But, you know, and since then, a ton of other YouTubers have done the exact same thing. You you search pennies in the YouTube search bar and you just get YouTuber after YouTuber making videos of themselves buying expensive shit with only... Money! And it's getting fucking views, man. People are pulling views. Now, like any good YouTube trend, buying expensive things with pennies is having its heyday right now. That's right. Buying things with... Money! is garnering millions and millions of views and entertaining millions of people around the world. I, I don't get it. <laughs> boy, oh boy, I love, I fucking love the internet. I fucking love the internet. But as time goes on, this trend will fade and eventually end up in the graveyard with all the other YouTube trends that have come and gone. Now, in many of my videos, if you're familiar with any of my previous content, I, I tend to criticize things from time to time, doing some insufferable Instagrams, talking about people on the internet that are less than savory, but I'm not criticizing right now. I, this isn't a trend I can really criticize. I'm just more astonished. I'm fascinated by what captures people's attention. I'm fascinated by things that you would never think could ever become popular, and then all of a sudden they're getting tens of millions of views on the internet. And just buying things with pennies is one of those things where I'm just like, what? But it fucking works, man. Holy shit. Look at the... I mean, just 10 million views. Now, for those of you who don't know who Mr. Beast is, he's a, a YouTuber with 3 million subscribers that I made a video on about a year, a little over a year ago, satire comedy video, just talking about some of the dumb shit he was doing at the time, like counting to 100,000 in a video and watching a meme for 10 hours straight. He sees the finish line now. His head starts to bob again. Don't start to doubt yourself. Be confident. His anticipation boils in his bloodstream. We did it. He did it! Uh, he did it! it. Yeah. He did it! He did it! He he did did it. it! Since then, we've actually become friends online. We even play a little Fortnite together. It's a pretty special relationship that we have. Yay! Also, in that time, his YouTube channel has absolutely exploded. In the past month or two, he's grown like a fucking weed. He's got videos getting six, seven, eight, nine, ten million views. He spent several days on YouTube's top ten most subscribed channels. He was even the most subscribed channel for a couple of days, I believe, outside of, you know, Indian music channels and music channels in general, worldwide. And you look through his video catalog and you're like, man, this is all stupid shit. And I mean that in the nicest way possible because it's not, it's just a wonderful thing, YouTube. You know, you don't have to have some wizardry or some fucking incredible talent to be successful. You just have to have a couple of stupid ideas and execute them well, and you can be rich as a motherfucker. And not only is Mr. Beast good at executing this kind of video, he's now taken his YouTube success and turned it into a vehicle in which he's helping change other people's lives. He's made videos where, you know, he gets sponsors to pay him big money and then he takes that money and donates $30,000 to a Twitch streamer. Takes that money, donates $30,000 to a charity stream. Most recently, just gave $30,000 to his 3 millionth subscriber in the form of fucking <laughs> pennies, obviously. But it's just cool to see someone taking their success on YouTube and he's, he's fucking perfected the art of like creating viral videos, getting sponsors for those videos. And the reason those videos are going viral is because he's hooking those people up with some serious coin. I mean, $30,000, yeah, you can't retire, but that can be a life-changing amount of money. You can take 30K and make a big life decision, quit your job, double down on what you're trying to do, your side hustle, start a business, whatever the fuck. So it's cool to see, and I think, uh, I think it's... I think it's well deserved, so, uh, <coughs> uh sorry, I had to take Mr. Beast's dick out of my mouth. Money! So shout out to Mr. Beast. Not all of your videos make a lot of sense, but boy, do they bang. And you execute them flawlessly, and not only that, but you're respectful to the people you interact with in your videos when you're doing all of this crazy shit. And top that off with the fact that you're giving back huge amounts of money to the community you're a part of. That is some neat shit. How neat is that? Listen, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. Buying expensive shit with pennies. It is the trend right now. It is hot as a motherfucker. You need to make a video on this shit before it dies. Get yourself some pennies, buy yourself some Gucci flops. I don't give a shit. And I'm, I'm sorry for those of you that wanted Nigel to be a little bit of a bigger part of this video. But listen, I caught this piece of shit sniffing my boxers the other day, which is disgusting. 
It's not the first time either. It's kind of erotic, if I'm being honest, but it's mostly disgusting, and I ha he has to be punished. So sorry, you're going to have to wait until the next one. But uh, I appreciate you joining me for these few minutes. Before you move on with your day, if you could just do me a small favor, drive to the closest Catholic church near your house, hop into that confessional booth, and when the priest gets in there, just ask him a simple question. Be like, Father, how many pennies would it take to fill up a hammock? And when he, you know, he, he looks at you through that screen, perplexed, and says, my son, what the fuck are you talking about? Then you want to reach through the screen, punch him in the face, rip his robe off, head all the way home, put some shaving cream on your tits, take that robe off, and then hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I'll appreciate you for days, and I'll see you soon. Deuces. <laughs> Fucking views.